Okay, here's the final video of the proof of concept um, system for setting the auto knot in its um, shipping position. Okay, this is the, the auto knot device. This is our fixture. We have the um, shock sensor mounted here. It's spring loaded in the groove. Um, the toggle clamp holds the cannula in place. We have our um, digital um, position sensor and let's see. Okay. It's in inches. And um, this has a, a built in uh, data port that's going to be used to communicate with the controller. Um, this device, this, this whole setup is, is purposely done um, to show that um, we can indeed perform this function um, and we're doing everything manually. The sensor is connected to its power supply and signal conditioner and then it's fed to the, the scope. The yellow line would be the sensor. Um, in order to make that signal, it's a pulse signal, very fast, very short. In order to make it useful, we need to do some things to it. Um, here we have an amplifier. Um, it's a basic uh, op amp amplifier that's used to boost that signal. And then here we have a, um, uh, a one-shot um, device that's going to take that pulse and turn it into a step and uh, it's going to activate a, a buzzer so when there's a pulse when we hear that click the buzzer comes on and that step function can be used to um, control the process okay so now we're going to um, I'm going to put this camera on the tripod and we'll go through uh, sequence with the system. Okay, we're going to go ahead and load the device. Okay, you saw it, the buzzer reacted to the signal from the shock sensor. Um, in the real machine what you would do is that you would, you would only listen to the shock sensor at the time that you need to and ignore it every other time to prevent any false alarms or anything like that. Okay, so it's in. First thing we do is zero the indicator. Okay, that tells us where the, where the cannula is and um, the anvil has a a step in it that's 50 thousandths um, away from the or inside the cannula so when we activate the drive tube forward we have to move to a position of 250 thousandths to get it 200 thousandths ahead of the cannula so first thing we do is we um, put it in the forward position and we activate the button so I'm going to go ahead and Activate the button. See it move. Twenty, thirty thousands. Keep going till it gets to two fifty. There we go, 249.4, 250. All right, so at this point, we would pull the trigger to acknowledge the first position. Okay, and then it automatically steps forward. So, 
Right now we're going to go back to pick up the first clip. Um, again, this is going to go back quite a bit because we've been firing clips. Um, okay, so we're in reverse and we want to come back. Okay, it's coming back. Okay, we'll keep going till we hear. We can see the signal on the scope, and you'll hear the buzzer go off as well when we hear the first clip. Okay, like I said, this might take a little while because we've been firing clips. Getting there. I can see the fingers opening. Yep. Okay. You've got both fingers engaged. Now we'll pull the trigger to acknowledge that point. Okay. Now Put it in the forward position or forward mode and we'll advance the drive tube until the clip is at the forward deployment position. And we'll see that in the indicator there. It's going to be about 40 thousandths. And that's it. Pull the trigger one more time to acknowledge the last point. And that's it. End of the process. So now we can remove the device. And you can see the clip. Go to manual focus. That's it, concept proven.